So I'm using an AMD RX 6700 XT 12 gig GPU. And for most people who have this same GPU, they're probably using this in Microsoft Windows. Now I use Microsoft Windows as well. However, my main operating system is Linux, specifically Linux Mint. And so today I'm gonna to be showing you the type of performance that I get with the type of work that I do on my machine with the hopes that other Linux users who's thinking about getting this GPU might kind of get a better idea of what they can expect. And so before I get into that, let me show you the specs that I have on my machine. And so the operating system that I'm using is Linux Mint 21.2. I have an Intel Core i7-12700K CPU with 64 gigs of RAM. And then the CPU actually has an integrated GPU as well. And then finally, my GPU is the AMD RX 6700 XT. Now, in terms of what I use my computer for, well, I basically use it for everything. This is my main computer and Linux does practically everything that I need. And there's only a few things where I still need to use Microsoft Windows. But the main thing that I use my computer for is video editing. And in terms of video editing, I primarily use two different video editors, Kden Live and Shotcut. And in terms of overall performance with this GPU, I do see a performance benefit because before I had a much older GPU, I had an AMD RX 470 four gig GPU back from 2016. So this new GPU is definitely better. However, the type of projects that I do, it's very simple. And so I don't see too much difference in terms of my project timeline performance, but where I do see the difference is if I'm using lots of effects or filters and my render time, the RX 6700 XT definitely improves upon that, but I don't see like a dramatic difference as I do whenever I'm using Microsoft Windows with other video editors like DaVinci Resolve. And the reason I think that's the case is because a lot of these open source video editors they don't have the same type of optimizations that you would get with other video editors like DaVinci Resolve, uh, Premiere Pro, or Apple Final Cut. Uh, but if you are gonna be doing much more complex projects, I think you will get benefit out of it. But until these video editors get better optimizations for the various hardware, specifically GPUs that are available, then I think you will get more performance if you're primarily doing video editing, if you're using Microsoft Windows. And so that's just my honest opinion on my performance. <laughs> when I'm video editing with this GPU, it's definitely better, but it's not as good as it would be if I was using Windows. Now, when it comes to gaming, I think this is the main reason why people get a GPU. And at least for me, most of my gaming is actually retro gaming. And so you obviously don't need a GPU as powerful as this to retro game. But whenever I do wanna play more modern games, then I do that through Steam. Now, this is where I think most people would be interested in the performance of this GPU in Linux. And thanks to Proton and the people at Valve doing all these optimization in Steams, a lot of games that are only available in Windows, I can play in Linux. Now, in terms of the overall performance, a lot of this does come down to the settings that you're using whenever you're playing the game. And then the second thing is the optimizations that the game has. And so, at least for me, I do have a 2K monitor. So that's typically the resolution that I'm playing these games in. And in terms of like my overall performance, for most of the games that I'm playing, I'm typically getting 60 frames to 80 frames per second. And then for games that are better optimized, I'm normally getting 100 frames or more, which is really, really excellent for me because for my gaming needs, as long as I could get around 30 frames per second, I'm okay with that. But obviously more frames at higher quality settings is always something that a lot of gamers appreciate. And so that is kind of like in general, what you can expect out of the gaming performance from this GPU. It is really great to excellent for most games. And if you do want to do something like RTX effects, then this GPU is not the best for that. If you do like to play games with RTX on, then you're much better off getting an NVIDIA graphics card. But for everybody else, I think this is a really 
excellent GPU for gaming, especially at this price range. And you're going to get a lot out of it, I think, even for the long term, because it does have 12 gigs of RAM. So that means you're going to be able to play games at a higher resolution versus having a GPU that has less RAM. So those are my thoughts on the AMD RX 6700 XT GPU. And I would say for Linux users out there, this is a great to excellent GPU, especially if you consider the price. So at the time I got this, I paid around $350 to $360. And I have seen it as low as $320. And over time, this will get less expensive. However, as the inventory on this gets less and less to make room for new GPUs, the price might go back up at that time. But if you are in the market as a Linux user for a GPU, then this is really hard to beat. Whether you're looking for productivity or gaming, this GPU does deliver. And since it does have 12 gigs of RAM, it will last a little bit longer than those GPUs that have less RAM, especially if you wanted to game at higher resolutions. And so that is my overall thoughts on this GPU as a Linux Mint user. If you actually had any thoughts on this, if you are a Linux user, I'd like to know that. And if you did want to see this original review of the GPU, I will leave that in the description area below. And finally, if you did want to support my channel and get this GPU, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on another episode. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.